So in this video, I want to spend some time to talk about the potential energy curve, and especially, and this is a simple curve of two atoms. Um, uh, so I want to spend a little bit of time to kind of uh, explain how to read it, and we're gonna explain we're gonna explain, explain that through uh, working through a couple of problems. And so, if I look at the curve, the one thing to always note, guys, when you look at a potential energy curve this area here between the top line and, and this this bottom line here is your kinetic energy your potential energy is a is, is a slope of this curve here so at any at any given moment on this line here is your potential energy okay the kinetic energy is always in between okay so that's something that's very important to understand so i have this question here so we have r1 here and it says okay well what is the value of the potential energy u at r1 so if i go down the line i know that r1 where these two lines intersect right here you and it's any any point of, on this curve here is your potential energy so we know at some point at r1 we should be looking at where r1 intersects with this this line here okay and so if i'm looking at this at r1 it seems as if our, our potential energy is actually negative 1.3 ev and it makes sense right our potential energy can be negative okay what we cannot have is a kinetic energy that's negative okay so that would be negative 1.3 ev now it goes along to say okay, well, what is the approximate value of the kinetic energy of uh, k well we, we already talked about our kinetic energy is 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 right in between our potential energy and, and this and this line here okay so if i'm looking at this well, I know my kinetic energy has to be positive. So therefore, we know it's a change here. There's a change in kinetic energy. And so if I'm looking at this, my kinetic energy have to be uh, negative 0 0.2 EV minus, minus 1.3 EV. Okay. And so if I do the math here, I get positive 1.1 EV. Okay. So this would be the value of my K. This is the value of my U. Okay, so again, your kinetic energy is always right. That smack in between. It's this this whole. It's the change from the from from your uh, actual k plus u line. Okay, it's a change from your your k plus u line to your potential energy. Okay, and remember we said. It's always a potential, to, uh, the kinetic energy that will give us our k plus u line. Okay, and the change in between that value is our kinetic energy. So that's how we find our kinetic energy. So make sure make sure that that is very um, concrete at this point. And so I might ask you, well, what is the value of the K plus U? Well, we just had it. We just had our kinetic energy, which is 1.1 EV. And we just have our potential energy in negative 1.3 EV. So, that, so with that being said, I know if I add... 1.1 EV plus negative 1.3 EV, I shall get negative 0 0.2 EV. And so that would be the value of my K plus U. Now, another interesting question I might ask yourself, my, my ask is, what is the minimum energy? What, what minimum energy must a photon ha have so that the absorbing photon will cause the two atoms in the state to separate? So what, what energy level will cause them to separate okay the two atoms in this state to separate and always remember that what energy that will cause a separation always the positive value of your k plus u okay so it has to be opposite so we have to break the k plus u line in order for us to bring these two atoms apart okay and this is all i wanted to explain in this video um just the basic idea of understanding what this graph means and how to read it where's your potential energy at a given point Where's your kinetic energy, which is right, that's met in between. Okay, and then our K plus U line is always from a potential energy to the kinetic energy. There's our K plus U line. Okay.